Welcome to my vlog, Koopa Kafan, about the raw, real, and uncomfortable realities people don't usually share in social media, but I am because I don't want my social media life to appear perfect because I know no one's life is perfect. People fill their social media sometimes with their pets because they are so cute. Yes, we can see Sugar today. She's one of two cats. And where is the other cat? She was getting ready to go downstairs. There she is, going to eat something. And yes, she does have some food. Thanks to my daughter. That's the other cat holiday. Isn't she so cute? Yes. And I do brag to other parents about how proud I am of my daughter for taking care of the pets in their entirety, giving them fresh food and water every day, cleaning their litter boxes every day, and taking care of the other pets. We've got the big turtle Mimi, the little turtle Freddy. It does look like their water needs to be changed, but uh, she can't do this by herself. At least I've been told. My husband needs to help her. The fish we had for many years, but they died. And we had two frogs, but we still have one. But this one, something is wrong. No. Uh, this is a new development today, and this is what I was going to talk about my concern over the fact that it's been more than a month since we got fresh crickets for either the frog or the gecko. And I've repeatedly told my daughter we got these pets as a result of her research and insistence that she knew about them, how to care for them, she would do all the work. There's Spotty. He doesn't look so good either. I have to remind her sometimes to put fresh water in his bowl. Sometimes it gets down to almost nothing or no water at all. He hasn't had any food in a while. The other day I was concerned that he hasn't eaten in a while because we haven't had a chance to go to the pet store and get crickets. So I gave him some of this fruit paste. At least he has something that he can eat. And I put it on his rock and it's all gone. So he definitely is hungry. But there's nothing to give the frogs except maybe some insects around the house. And I've told my daughter we should do that when we can't get to the pet store. And she says no. She's concerned that those might not be safe for them. But apparently this is the lesson. I was wondering if she should learn a harsh lesson such as this because I have told her several times in the last month on the way home from somewhere, let's stop at the pet store, let's get these crickets now, no I'm tired, let's do it another day, you drop me off and go get it, no. These are your pets, you need to be there, I'm not going to run your errands for you. And although I don't want to hurt these creatures, I want her to learn the lesson that she needs to be responsible for them. And this is a hard lesson indeed. We've had Barry now for at least a couple years. Bye, Barry.